I just picked up a new set of irons and they are Cobra Speed Zones. What's happening Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just picked up a new set of irons because I have been in love with the idea of these irons and so I am excited to try them out. Now, I wanna back up here just a little bit because forever I have played traditional irons, you know, variable length, they get longer from the three iron and down shorter to the wedges and they have always been, you know, pretty good. It's just what everyone plays with. But then this year I discovered that there is something called a single length iron or a one length iron. And that means all the irons are exactly the same length. Now that's pretty interesting to me because now you only have to learn one golf swing. Only the loft changes here and some of the weight in the head. And so for an occasional golfer like myself, I thought that was going to be a big advantage so that you don't have to learn and practice a bunch of different swings. You only really have to practice one. So I picked up this. It's the Orlamar Intercept one length irons. And they were a couple hundred bucks for the six iron through the gap wedge. So I think a really good value. And I played with these all summer long. They were the only irons I played. And I will tell you, I loved them. I couldn't believe how much of a difference it makes when you only have that one swing. Now, you don't trade off as much distance as you might think you do. Because you're only really losing maybe an inch, an inch and a quarter on the longest iron. But what you gain there is just a lot more accuracy and maybe more important, confidence. And so I have really loved these. Now, I thought... I am sold on the one length concept and I thought I would try to pick up a set of more premium irons and so I looked out there and I actually went to the Callaway website because I thought whatever they're cooking I'm buying but unfortunately Callaway doesn't really believe in the one length concept and so I looked around a little bit and I know Bryson DeChambeau has been playing one length irons and has been having a lot of success and so I found out that Cobra makes his clubs and this is their latest model this is the speed zone and you can tell that these are the one length irons because there's a little blue highlight in the bottom right there uh, it is yellow on the variable length irons, so that's how you know that these are one length now they come in a couple different versions and I want to show you what I got here I got the ones that have the graphite shafts and that is because when you're talking about shorter irons I thought well maybe you need a little more perceived weight on the head and so why not go for the driver shaft which is you know 30 or 40 grams lighter and so it's just going to give you the impression that there's more head weight down here so I did that and as far as I can tell these recoil shafts look amazing in fact they have a bit of a metallic finish and so when I pulled them out of the box I thought oh my gosh they sent me steel shafts but these are graphite now it's funny to me because I've been playing graphite for a long long time especially in drivers but even some of my early sets of irons had graphite shafts and I thought they were fine and I guess a lot of people have stayed away from a graphite graphite shafts and irons because of their production quality but I've never had an issue and I'm sure over the years they have improved but these look phenomenal and I think that they are going to probably be just fine now the real technology here is in the head of the set now you can order these sets in a variety of configurations I got it in the full set the five iron through the gap wedge so you get a five six seven eight nine pitching wedge and gap wedge and there is a little bit of difference between the longer irons and the shorter irons which i'll kind of get into here a little bit and one of the reasons that you don't get a three and a four iron are because those tend to be harder to hit that's probably one of the reasons you're looking at one length and so a lot of people tend to get the hybrids which i have done so i've got some great hybrids too that i really like for my longer uh, fairway shots here but uh, this is the set that includes you know pretty much a full set of irons now one of the beautiful things about this other than the fact that it's one length here, is that there is a ton of technology because Cobra is known for making a really premium iron. And so I wanna show you a few of these features, whether they're highlighting them or not. First of all, it is a cavity back iron and so it should be pretty forgiving. They have done something called like their weight zone or something like that, where they put the weight in the toe and the heel here so that you have a good moment of inertia. So the club head will resist twisting on off center shots. So that's really nice. They have also moved a bunch of the weight from the top here by milling out this top piece and putting in a carbon fiber insert and then moving that weight down to the bottom here. That's only about five grams, but that's a lot of weight actually in a club. So it's kind of nice. Now, some people complain that they don't like seeing the carbon fiber on the top there. I think it looks cool, man. You know, people have been doing that in cars forever. So pretty cool. So a little bit of milling there. One of the things that I do want to point out is that it's not flush it's actually recessed a little bit i wouldn't have actually minded if they didn't fill that with anything but i guess they kind of want to fill that in so that it looks like it's a finished club now the other thing that they have here is called their power shell the piece of metal that makes up the face actually wraps around the bottom here so it's a single full piece and apparently that design allows it to deform in a way that is 
beneficial for your shots. I'm actually not that familiar with that technology. But what I do think is kind of interesting and might be a little hard to see here is that the bottom has a little bit of a sole. So you would expect the bottom of the club just to be flat here, but you have a little bit of a sole. It's kind of like um, a trailing edge, like on a wedge, like sandwich. And that is, I think, to give you a little bit of a smaller footprint on the grass. So you don't have as much metal digging into the grass and kind of stalling your shot or grinding into the ground. And that's pretty nice because that can actually really forgive some shots where you might be uh, going into the ground a little aggressively. So I definitely like the fact that you have this little bounce edge right there. That's pretty cool. I also think that's because there's so much metal down here and so much weight, particularly because they've cut out some of the weight up here and moved it down here. But also what they have done here is flared out that sole a lot. So it's actually pretty wide. And so some people have kind of complained that you can actually see the sole when you are at a dress here, kind of peeking out from the, the back here. Now, I actually like it. It kind of gives me a little bit of a hybrid look or a wood look. And so I like the idea that there is more down here than just a thin blade for me. I kind of find that reassuring so that I kind of feel like there is uh, most of the club is down here. So I don't know why some people don't like it, but I actually don't mind when it's peeking out. That's why I kind of like the look of fairway woods. The other thing you have here is a fully milled face. So it looks really nice. You have some grooves in there. I think they are even angled uh, per the club, which is kind of cool, but uh, fully milled face should help, uh, help get you some good spin on your irons as well. And then the back here, apparently on really forgiving irons, they don't sound very good. So what they have done here is they have co-molded this medallion. This whole back piece here is actually kind of pressed in there to dampen the sound, to actually make the sound a little bit more pleasing. I'm actually not sure what a non-pleasing sound of a golf club is because maybe I don't get pleasing sounds when I hit mine, but uh, that is actually more for sound functionality than it is aesthetics. Now, I actually like the look of that. I think it looks pretty modern and kind of racy, although I will say that the Wilson Staff irons are probably the most beautiful irons that I've ever seen. I just love the way they look. They're just gorgeous. If they made them in one length, I'd be all over them. So I do want to point out that I, even though I have a six iron right here and we have the carbon fiber here, the carbon fiber is not on every club. So actually, once you get to the eight iron and lower you can see it's just a traditional metal club up there there's no carbon fiber insert so i think that's because the angle is getting lower here so the center of gravity is being lowered anyway just by the angle of the club that's kind of my guess and then they also do have the cobra grip here with the cobra connect in there it's kind of an interesting technology i've never used it and i don't plan on using it but you can uh, learn a lot about distance club speed actually get the distance for your shots from that so kind of a nice feature to have and you can add this i think it's made by a company called arco so you can add these to any clubs that you really want to so pretty cool now the real question is all this technology all this money single length irons do they work so let's get out there and hit them and see what we think so I've been playing with these clubs for several rounds of golf and obviously a day at the driving range, and I really like them. But I'm going to talk about some of the things that you should probably know before you pull the trigger and buy some of these clubs. Now, first of all, I will say that I really like the graphite shafts. It does take a minute to kind of get used to, but I can't imagine going back. They just are so much lighter, easier to swing. You have more perceived weight on the head, so it just kind of gives you more tempo. I really, really like them. The other thing that I really noticed here is that sometimes I would pull out my seven iron say for a 150 yard shot that's kind of my go-to club I pulled out my seven iron and because the loft is actually pretty strong it stands a little more vertical I was looking down on it and saying hey this is going to send it long so I would kind of club down and go to an eight iron and what I would do is I'd leave it short and what I realized is that the way they've engineered the club and I think moved that center of gravity so low the club even though it has pretty strong loft doesn't fly as far and really sends the ball really high which is nice because it kind of drops the ball on the green without kind of rolling it beyond the green or sometimes over the green. And so even though the seven iron to me looks a little strong, it's still the same club that I would play, which is actually pretty nice so that I don't have to recalibrate all my distances in my head. So it's just kind of engineering on it that makes it look a little deceiving at first and you kind of get used to it. And so it took me a couple rounds of golf to start dialing in those distances and trusting that the club was going to do what it was doing. Now, 
the other thing I want to say is that these are the most forgiving clubs I have ever played. And in fact, I didn't really expect kind of all these little tricks of engineering to add up to much, but they really do, especially over the Orlemars, which are a $200 set of one length clubs, which I think were really good. These clubs seem to just do a lot of things really well. And you can even see in my video here, I am hitting behind the ball an inch or two inches. Sometimes the ground is really hard in this case. It hasn't rained in forever around here and I'm still getting the ball up. And so I have a tendency to bob my head a little bit sometimes when I haven't played golf in a while and hit behind the ball. And this allowed me to not necessarily bury the club in the ground and kind of still get through the ball and get some nice uh, loft on it and some nice height on it, even though in many cases I would have probably chunked it. So it's kind of forgiving in that regard too. I've also known that it pulls a little left for me. So as a game improvement club, I would expect it to try to be a little more forgiving on off-center hits. And I noticed that I could e more easily slice my Orlemars than I was these Cobras. In fact, sometimes I would put a little draw on it. People would even note note that when they were standing around me so that was kind of interesting too and i would just say they are so smooth to hit the big sweet spot on the head i think the way they have weighted the clubs way down on the bottom which is around the perimeter when you're swinging it these shafts are fantastic everything about this is super premium now they do come with a pretty premium price if you want to get into these with just the steel shafts you're looking at the 500 600 range and in the graphite shafts i think you're looking in the 800 range so they're not super cheap but for a lot of us who don't buy clubs that often and i haven't really replaced my set of irons in like 12 years i think it was a worthwhile splurge and i love them i can't imagine myself you know switching out to anything else and now it kind of allows me to continue to work on my swing and not necessarily continue to blame my clubs which might be an excuse that i miss but if you want to pick them up i'll put a link to them in the description below peter von panda out